Caroline's Instagram persona is very much like her personality, I think. She is um, lazy and sweet and sluggish and quirky. She's just beautiful, so I think that she is just her. My friends think I am nuts. Like, here's, here's Looney, and that's where I am, because what it's become, they don't get it. I don't think you, if you're in the Instagram world, you don't get it, because they come around and, you know, they're just like, oh, hello, lads, and then off they go. But it's, it's become a job. What's this? What's this? Good boy. I put him in a, in a desk drawer at work. He used to come to work with me. And I pulled it out, put a meme on it, how to de-stress at work and it went crazy viral. I'm his butler and he's also my boss. Um, we're we're full-time Instagram and Facebook creators. We got spotted by an agency who, like a dog, a pet agency, and said, oh, you know, the lads are cute. Would you be interested? We said, yeah, potentially, if any work comes up. And then um, it's sort of gone from there, really. And in the last year has really blossomed into uh, pretty much a job, I'd say now, um, but a good one. You guys already definitely taken over what I do. Uh, my mum joked when I first, not when I first had him, but kind of early days, she said, you guys can be famous before you are, and he's beat me to it. I'm now going to wave. Bye. Bye. I think most people think, oh, I'm just going to put pictures of my dog up, and, you know, because it's so cute, and all dogs are cute. Sometimes I post things because I find it funny, but sometimes I know what's going to do. Well, when she used to have a little pool and she used to go swimming in the baby pool, that always did really well. I just put up a video of her doing zoomies around the bed and booping her nose. And that did really well. But also I think there's more to it than that because she's really only doing zoomies around the bed either late, late at night, early in the morning. This one, the bed happened to be made, so she wasn't flopping around in it. It was light, it light out, so it was a good video. You could see the quality of it. So I think there's a lot to it, not just she's doing zoomies, but I don't know if most people recognize that. So I've just been to pick up Huxley, who I have um, been looking at photos of ever since he's been born. Yeah, I think Huxley will pull in lots more followers. So. You can hear Hugo barking. Hide him in the box. Don't open that door. Huxley, this isn't what happens. This isn't what happens. Wait there. Wait there. Huxley. <laughs> Where are you going? Alexander, you can let him out. Let him out. <laughs> oh no, you're going like that. <laughs> Crowley. Hey, 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 hey. He's your, he's your friend. Ready? Wait. Wait. Would you? That's sweet, just you can't really see much of Hugo. I like that one, with Hugo looking at him. You'll be fine, you're going to be treated like a normal dog, and I was going to dress you up ever again. This is the first and last experience. And today is National Puppy Day. So it's very fitting that we picked him up. All done. There's your first introduction to Instagram. I used to do the whole Instagram influencer thing. Not proud of it, but I did. I started to hate Instagram, really, and partly because of my mental health, I think. I, I closed my own account down for a, lo a long time. And then I set up Chip's an account because I like taking photos of him. <laughs> and if I can help spread the word, I guess, around emotional support animals, that's a positive by it. And then because he only follows other dogs, if I'm scrolling through Instagram, I'm just looking at cute puppies. <laughs> 
So George um, has posted certain things. Um, I think there was a post about homelessness, mental health, smear tests, don't fear the smear. And all of these things are a way of getting their humans to notice posts and take them more seriously because it makes it a little bit more easier to broach the subject um, when it's through the medium of George. I mean, how can you resist this face telling you to go and get a smear test? <laughs> I, I get quite happy when he gets a lot of likes, but at the same time, when he when a post I think is really cute doesn't get as much um, sort of likes and sort of comments, it's kind of like, oh, I mean, it's it's fine. I, I still think it's I, I still think he's cute, and I still I still like the photo that I've um, posted on Instagram. Um, sometimes it's kind of like, but then I also do think, oh, should I have edited it differently? Should I have chosen a different photo? Because I'm sure. Oh, Sometimes I'm in my head, I'm praying. I'm like, okay, just stay there while I focus the camera. I think sometimes I am careful about not taking too many photos in front of my husband so he doesn't think I'm crazy. But if he wasn't there, I might take more, but then I might be just happy with what I have if he's around so he's not like, oh no, stop this already. My husband um, is not quite as keen as I am, maybe. Um, he does get annoyed because if I'm setting them up and I've got like a cracking picture and the backdrop's amazing and it's like, I don't know, there's flags flapping and there's basically the queen behind. And then he'll go, Oi, what are we having for dinner? And I'll go, what are you doing? Like, and then they'll just get distracted or breathing or existing or moving while I'm trying to take a shot. It's just not, it's not acceptable. <laughs> When we started the Instagram, I thought people were nuts when they were going, oh, I've just had my favourite meal, like as if they were the dog or like, oh, this is my favourite bed. Thanks, Carol, for sending me these. And I was like, they are loopy, fucking loo, mate. What is going on here? And then when they started getting slightly bigger, I noticed that people really tagged on to when I spoke as if it was them and that the connection was there and if you know that brought more followers and more likes so that's what it turned into um <clears throat> my dogs are not my children they are better than any child in the entire world they choose to stay with me a child they have to stay with you you legally have to look after them so for me it's a much deeper relationship i could not produce a child this pretty <laughs> So it has been, since I posted the photo, um, 11 minutes and we have 677 likes with 40 comments. So probably, probably record. Congratulations to the edition, uh, lots of congratulations, hope it goes well. Hugo looks suspicious, which he does. Another one to join our gang, oh my god, best photo ever. Um, I love him and Hugo too, I'm screaming, heart, heart, heart. <laughs> and wait till the creative ones come as well, because that was just like a standard cute photo when I can put them in that rucksack. People message um, about Vinny a lot because Louis is generally with me at all times, um, and Vinny's a little bit more of a dog. So if I post a lot about Louis, pe people are like, where's, where's Vinny? I thought, do you not like Vinny anymore? What's happened to Vinny? Is Vinny dead? And I'm like, right, everyone, just relax. It's been, it's been 24 hours since you've seen Vinny. He's in the garden, barking at a leaf, like, rain it in. Something about dogs being on Instagram is just so pure because although people are you know, very proud of their pets, almost like you gave birth to your dog, or someone says that your dog's beautiful, you're like, oh, yes, I know. But there's also something that's, that kind of takes it away from it. Instagram. A lot of people kind of don't like it because it feels really self obsessed. And with a dog, I think it takes all that away and it's really sweet. You're just kind of connecting with other people over a, a common interest, and I think it's a really good thing. Thank you.